Hi, I'm Julia and I'm a product designer here at KiwiCo. Our team engineers awesome science and art projects that are delivered to your door. This is one of the projects that I designed. It's the KiwiCo Solar Crayon Recycler. Here on Earth, we're pretty lucky to live near a basically unlimited energy source, the sun. We can use the heat and light from the sun, AKA solar energy, to do all kinds of things. Feed plants, warm the planet, and even produce electricity. A lot of human-made stuff that requires energy, like cars or light bulbs or ovens, runs on non-renewable energy, like gasoline or coal. Non-renewable means that we'll eventually run out of these resources, and a lot of them are bad for the environment. That's why I get so excited about solar energy. It's unlimited and better for the planet. We've just got to figure out how to capture it. When I was in fourth grade, my science fair project was a pizza box solar oven. I thought it was super cool that I could use the power of the sun to melt stuff. As a product designer, I still think it's super cool. So I wanted to design an awesome solar powered device that could take old crayons and melt them into something completely new. I had a lot of ideas, like too many ideas. So I designed six totally different solar devices. But to keep the experiment as consistent as possible, I used the same materials across all of the different models. Tin foil to bounce and reflect light. Clear plastic that would let in light but trap heat. Cardboard to hold it all together. And black paint on the outside to absorb light. And then I put them to the test. The devices take in the sun's light and convert it into heat, kind of like a mini oven. It can get pretty hot in there, but it was taking a lot of time. So I had to keep checking throughout the day to see if the crayons were melting. This funky hexagonal guy made the meltiest crayons. I designed it so that the light from the sun bounces off the walls and concentrates in the center of the hexagon, which increases the melting power. But it still wasn't as powerful as I wanted. One of the biggest engineering challenges with solar energy is that the sun is constantly moving throughout the day. That's why some solar panels rotate so they can capture the maximum amount of light energy. I wanted to make my device rotate too, but I needed the shelf that holds the crayons to stay put to prevent them from spilling. My first thought was to use a cylindrical rod to rotate the box, but then the shelf wouldn't sit flat. So I designed a triangular rod that would allow for rotation, but also keep the shelf upright. I made a couple other upgrades, like swapping out the plastic since it's made from non-renewable resources. Instead, I made a window out of clear cellulose acetate, which is made from plants. And I designed a special mold that turns the melted crayons into cute little shapes. Of course, I had to get Steve the Kiwi in there. With these changes in place, it was time for more tests. So I tested it. And then I tested it again. And a couple more times. With each test came more tweaks here and there. But then I landed on the final design. Eventually, I was ready to bring in the experts. Every KiwiCo project gets tested out by kids. It's one of the most important parts of our design process because they help us solve problems that we don't always see. The kid testers had a little trouble with the build. They told me that it was tricky to figure out which tabs lined up with which. That gave me the idea to color the tabs so it's easier to match them up. Thanks to the kid testers, I was ready for the final design. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It recycles crayons just as well as an oven or microwave, but we did it using only the sun. If you build a solar crayon recycler at home, let me know what you think. See ya. For more awesome engineering projects, go to kiwico.com.